A very good evening and welcome to Edgeley Park. And Edgeley Park, which is absolutely rocking for tonight's FA Cup first round replay between Stockport County and Bolton Wanderers. An incredible atmosphere inside the ground tonight. It is going to be a full house here as County face Bolton in this replay. A sellout capacity crowd packed into Edgeley Park after the National League side caused one of the upsets of round one by holding Wanderers to a two-all draw just ten days ago. It'll be the first time County have had a gate in excess of 10,000 since Leeds United came here in League One back in 2008. The prize on offer, of course, a trip to League One Rotherham in the second round and prize money of £23,000. What a night for Anthony Sarsevich up against players that he knows very well. A dressing room that he only left a month ago. He's going to be so fired up for this tonight, John. He's been chomping at the bit all week. I know he was he was absolutely devastated to miss the first game, so uh, excited to see what he can do today. Here he is on the ball. Wide right at the moment, plays it into the box. It's a fantastic pass to pick out Quigley with his back to goal, trying to tee it up for Crowsdale. Quickly closed down, works it out to the wing for Keane to cross. Three in the box, it's headed clear though by the giant centre half, Ricardo Santos, the Portuguese. And now Bolton Wanderers on the counter attack. Pacey run this from Kachunga. Kachunga's shots deflected in, and Bolton Wanderers after just 70 seconds have taken the lead a deflected shot from Elias Kachunga the ball into the box was a more in hope than expectation it was comfortably headed clear by Ricardo Santos but then it was all about Elias Kachunga but you wouldn't know it was Bolton who'd scored the reaction of the county fans is incredible but it is county nil Bolton won goalkeeper Ethan Ross fires the ball upfield, right-footed, looking for Rydell, it's a great first touch by Rydell, he fires the cross in early, it uh, almost fell for Paddy Madden, the defender Santos did just enough to get it away, and then a, a breakdown at the back, leads to a, a Bolton clearance, and Ash Palmer is going to be tested for pace here, County just about get it away, but Bolton come again from midfield with Thomason leading the charge, Bolton boosted by that goal. Here's Isgrove, good player on the right-hand side. Finding the goal scorer, Kachunga. Kachunga with a chance to cross maybe from the right wing. Plays it short to the edge of the box. Opportunity for Sheehan to play it across the face of goal. It's come off the defender, Ash Palmer. That's an own goal. Ethan Ross has got to take charge of the situation. But it bobbled against Ash Palmer. It's a disastrous start for County, conceding twice in the opening five minutes. The second one, an own goal, the ball fired in by Sheehan on the right, deflected off Ash Palmer and bobbled into the back of the net. It's County nil, Bolton two. To Ethan Ross. Ross out to the left for Rydell. Rydell quickly closed down by Kachunga, fires it upfield. Long diagonal looking for Quigley. Little knock down then. Here's a chance for Sarsevic, deflected and cleared. Well, what a moment that would have been for Anthony Sarsevich against his former club. County haven't finished yet, though. Rydell's cross. Sarsevich chested on towards the back post. It's cleared by Johnston behind for a corner. Listen to the Edgley roar now. Playing it across to Johnston. Dispossessed, though. Well won back by County. Collar. Good ball into the path of Southam Hales. It can cross from here. Looking for Madden. Santos cuts out the cross. Headed away then by... Uh, is Grove. Oh, that's got to be a penalty. Yes. And it is. A clumsy challenge. Right on the edge of the box. County getting the decision. Rydell hit the deck. No Sorry, question. It was Kieran Lee, the former Manchester United man, I think, who caught him. Everybody in this ground now on their feet as Paddy Madden steps up to take a penalty. For County midway through this first half at the railway end Paddy Madden he drills it home Stockport County have got their reward County draw level you wonder is it a bit harsh but just no question about that one no attempt no Ryan, Ryan's just he's completely fooled the defender the, yeah. defen you know, the defender thinks he's gone one County have got plenty forward in this attack as well. Wide right is Sarsevich. 
four in the box as he goes past one defender and then tees up for Crowsdale to strike from distance. It was right at the goalkeeper. Comfortable save in the end. Great pass from Isgrove there. Fabulous ball. He's back on in possession again now. Sheehan it was who controlled it. So again, Kitching mopping up nicely at the back there. He's got that little turn of pace, Mark Kitching, that not always getting himself out of trouble, but getting others out of trouble. And the ball just fired forward again. Ethan Ross has come. Kitching's headed it back towards his own goal. And it's turned in on the line by Bakayoko and Bolton have got a third. Ethan Ross, what is he doing? He's got to come and if he's going to come out that far, he's got to shout. It's a horrible mistake. I think it's the goalkeeper who's got to take the blame. Mark Kitching knew he had to deal with it, but Ethan Ross has come charging out of his area when he didn't need to. Rydell also involved, but it's going to be Southam Hales and the wall does its job, and then Southam Hales miss kicks the follow-up, and then Crowsdale's shot lacks any real pace or power. A, a body check by Crowsdale, but the referee's played a good advantage for Bolton as Apollyon brings it away and a great recovery from Crowsdale to win it back. Sarsevic is inside the centre circle, he can't dwell on the ball there and he's lost it. Can't go and now ball, Bolton but... will break again, but the through ball has forced Bakayoko wide. The angle was against him, it was a shot on target, but a comfortable save. Big moment in the game, two to go to the break. Madden, oh, and the far post quickly couldn't quite get there. It's behind for a goal kick. Crowsdale, and the ball back in the county half, but very nicely dealt with by Keane. Cleared by Ethan Ross, who's being jeered by the Bolton fans. That, of course, will be worse in the second half when he's keeping goal right in front of them at the railway end. Quigley, beautiful, beautiful skill from Quigley. Holds off the challenge of Thomason. Out to the left for Kitching. Kitching linking up with Rydell again. Rydell comes inside onto his right this time. Dinks it into the box. Here's a chance. Here's a goal. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Quickly with the glancing header. And as the board goes up to show six minutes of added time, County once again have reduced the deficit. Quickly, his fourth goal in four games. And County, it's game on. Goalkeeper Dixon plays it out to Santos, out to the left now for uh, Johnston. Johnston gets his head up early, looks at the options and he's closed down by Will Collar. Collar wins the ball, Quigley will break. Johnston trying to snap at the heels but it breaks kindly for Collar on the edge of the box who picks out Southam Hales side netting. Brilliant work from Will Collar, starting and almost ending the move. Setting up uh, Southam Hales and it is a county corner. So it's, it's been so, so strange. I don't know if it is game management from Bolton. They've gone 2 0 up and they've almost invited the, the pressure on count, uh, from County onto them, but I'm not sure why because they've not looked too comfortable with it all no. game. Oh, great turn from Quigley. It's opened up the Bolton defensive shot just wide of the target, but County in these early stages of the second half are peppering this Bolton goal in search of an equaliser. County throw, right hand side. Collar forced wide. Can he keep it in play? He's done exactly that. Showed too much of it to Affelion, but his clearance pounced upon by Keane. Great touch then from Southam Hales, who bursts for the byline. Cuts it back towards Palmer on the far post. Headed away by Santos. Volleyed goalwards by Rydell. It's always rising over the bar. Listen to the applause, though, around Edgeley Park. Incessant pressure from the Hatters since the restart. The Bolton defence under the cosh. Arjun Reiki down the left wing. Oh, it's a brilliant ball into the middle. Pulled back by Quigley, but he couldn't find another blue shirt. County immediately regained possession, though, with Rydell. Quigley still lurking inside the area. Oh, brilliant feet. Quigley back to Kitching, deflected over the bar. It's another county corner. It's another chance for Stockport County to draw level in this game. Brilliant again from Scott Quigley. Corner at the Cheadle end, five to play. Deep ball, far post. Yes! Yeah! have equalised the header at the far post and County have got the goal Ash Palmer arriving as he does 
and County have levelled and they deserve that. Brilliant header, brilliant goal, brilliant delivery. And the man who scored an own goal in the first half has now scored at the other end. And Stockport County, would you believe it? Back from the dead, it's three all. Great noise again inside this ground. It's a Bolton Wanderers corner though. Left footed in swing, a near post, punched away by Ethan Ross. Great goalkeeping from Ross. Bolton come again though, Declan John this time from the opposite side, crosses, Palmer heads it away, it's not gone yet though, fired goalwards by Thomason, then fired over the bar on the follow-up by Kachunga, County survive and it stays 3-3, and that allows County to clear their lines, Crankshaw chases, Quigley into the path of Crankshaw, Crankshaw just holds it up, waits for support, Plays a brilliant ball in behind for Southam Hales, who cuts it back. Madden sliding in, couldn't quite get there. The defender, Ricardo Santos, was immense then. But he's such an important player for County, but clearly struggling. He's also a player you'd want to rely upon on the, uh, in a penalty shootout as well, John. Mm. So whether that'll be in the back of Dave Challenger's mind or not. Not with cramp, though. No. <laughs> Here's Kachunga, closed down by four blue shirts. County win it back. Madden. Looking for Quigley. Quigley, he could be in. He is in. He scores. Yes! Oh my word! Scott Quigley has lofted the ball into the back of the Bolton net, and he may just have lofted County into the second round of the FA Cup. Drama at Edgeley Park in extra time. County lead for the first time tonight, and it's Scott Quigley who's found the back of the net. Brilliant finish. Great composure, great goal, great drama. County lead 4-3. So, county free kick. Down that inside right channel to the right-hand side of the Bolton penalty area. And once again, county brought Ash Palmer up from the back. The ball towards Quigley, still loose, it's cleared, but only as far as Reiki had to take the oh. shot early. Brilliant dipping effort, but just over the bar. Dave Challen appointing to the goalkeeper, Ethan Ross, telling him where he wants the ball to be delivered. Towards that left-hand side, towards Alex Reed. Reed leaps for it with the defender. Reiki picks up the pieces and finds the run of Crankshaw. And Crankshaw has put County into the second round in the FA Cup. What a finish from Oli Crankshaw. What a ball to pick him out. The fans have spilled onto the pitch from the Cheadle end. It's one of the most famous nights ever at Stockport County. It's Stockport County 5, Bolton Wanderers 3, and the Bolton fans have started to leave this ground. County are through to the second round of the FA Cup. <laughs> we'll get it at the end of the season. There goes the final whistle. There was just enough time for Bolton to kick off, but what a famous night for Stockport County. They are through to the second round of the FA Cup. Who would have thought? that tonight would end in such glory here at Edgeley Park. County 5, Bolton Wanderers 3 is the full-time score.